Hi everyone, by the end of this video, you'll be able to solve six minus two, and then you have six minus three inside these brackets, or in other words, parentheses. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I am trying to get over 10,000 subscribers. If we reach 100,000 subscribers, that will be awesome. And then from there on, will be even more awesome. So let's go ahead and solve this math problem. And to solve this math problem, we're going to need the help of PAMDAS. And PAMDAS is just an acronym that will help us remember the order of operations. So we'll need PAMDAS to help us solve this math problem. So I do see subtraction. I do see parentheses. I do see some multiplication. Maybe we can multiply 2 times 6. But let's go ahead and use PAMDAS to help us solve this math problem. Now, some people, when they start solving this math problem, they'll first subtract 6 minus 2. So what is 6 minus 2? 4. So they'll write 4. And then they'll subtract 6 minus 3, which is 3. And then 4 times 3 is 12. And this is so wrong. Let me show you how to do this correctly and get the right answer. So the first thing you'll do is looking at PAMDAS. Remember, P stands for parentheses. E stands for exponents. M, multiplication. D, division. A, addition and S for subtraction. And PAMDAS has four different levels. And parentheses has the highest level, and AS is the lowest level. So looking at my math problem, I do see parentheses, and what's inside the parentheses goes first. So 6 minus 3 equals 3, and then keep the brackets, and then bring down the 2, Bring down the subtraction symbol down, and then the 6 down. Now you have 6 minus 2 times 3. Now, remember, you are solving this math problem from left to right according to PAMDAS. Now, subtraction it has, is at the lower level, and multiplication is above that level. You do see the M. That is multiplication. So... 2 times 3 will go first. So 2 times 3 equals 6. Bring down the, the, the subtraction symbol down, and then the 6 down. Now you have 6 minus 6, and 6 minus 6 equals 0. So your answer is 0. And there you go. Again, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.